Okay, welcome back to our in-depth look at the Star Wars Power of the Force 2 1 18th scale toy line from the mid to late 1990s. We're up to wave two in the red card series, and this time we're going to look at Lando Calrissian. I think uh, they were saving a lot of the Empire Strikes Back characters for wave two from that series. And here he is. This is Lando wearing his uh, Bespin Cloud City uh, attire. There are a couple of other Landos in this uh, series including Skiffguard Lando and a General Calrissian. We'll be seeing those in the days, weeks, and perhaps months to come. I think this is a really good action figure now. As you can see, he's sporting a cape, and we're probably just going to go ahead and take this cape off. Much like the, the, the modern 112 scale Lando from The Empire Strikes Back, um, the cape is made out of this sort of supple, soft, rubbery plastic, and... Uh, it stays on perfectly fine, and I'll show you why in just a moment. But when you're playing with it, it tends to fall off. So we'll just go ahead and take it off. It just clips onto the back of his neck. However, there's also a little peg there and a hole in his back. It's effectively a backpack. And it does stay on display pretty well. And it looks good, but, you know, for, you know, if he's going to pilot the Millennium Falcon or any of these vehicles, or if, you know, he's just going to have a, a shootout with uh, the stormtroopers, you probably take the cape off to play with him and it's going to help me uh, showcase his articulation and his paint apps and, and sculpting a little better now pretty good likeness i mean again these these uh power of the force two figures it gives me the impression of star wars the animated series which never happened but and i don't even know if it was ever planned but that's 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 the vibe i get from looking at these very stylized uh in modern context that might not look too much like billy d williams but i mean hey i'm this is obviously Lando Calrissian. Uh, the costume alone uh, tells you that. Now, he comes with two different uh, accessories here. He comes with, a, that appears to be a, an E-11 Imperial Blaster. There may be pre precedent for that in the film in Empire Strikes Back. He might have uh, been firing off one of those in that one scene. Although the, uh, the 112 scale Lando comes with a Rebel Blaster with the silver uh, tip on it. So I could be mistaken about that. Um, but he also comes with this more elegant uh, uh, holdout blaster. And I don't know which one. I'll, I'm not going to display him with two weapons, you know, one or the other. Yeah, I'll just have to make that choice at some point. He has six points of articulation, the same as uh, most of these Power of the Force 2 figures. He at the at the neck there, turn his head, the uh, shoulders, at the hips, and his waist swivels. That gives you some, some pretty neat posability options. Now, the stand is not standard. This does not come with... These figures, this is a contemporary, uh, star, a modern star stand. Um, and you have to be careful when you buy these because they also produce them for vintage figures. They're not compatible. A vintage star stand won't work with these or vice versa. But these work really well to keep these uh, figures up on their feet. And some of them won't stand up at all uh, without these stands. That's one of the big drawbacks from this particular toy line. But they have a very small footprint compared to those NECA stands which take up you know, a huge amount of real estate for those 112 scale figures. But, uh, no, I really, I really dig this figure. I, was, I didn't have a Lando Calrissian in my collection when I was a kid, uh, and I was happy to get this in the, in the mid-1990s and uh, put, put this alongside my, my vintage figures, and it, it fit in just fine. Uh, it, same size, I mean, better, better sculpting, better paint application. Uh, but it, it, was just, it was just one of the guys in my... Uh, in my Star Wars, uh, vintage Star Wars collection that was growing with my Power of the Force uh, collection. Now all those vintage figures are gone. And so are my original Power of the Force figures, but I'm more than happy uh, to be able to recollect these Power of the Force 2 figures at an extremely low price. Uh, this, just like the Boba Fett, uh, under five bucks. And uh, you can find these all over the... Uh, the secondary market at very low cost. That's why I like this toy line so much. They may not be as screen accurate and realistic looking as the modern uh, Star Wars figures, but they don't cost 15 to 20 bucks either, and that's that's really the appeal to this particular toy line to me. So there you go, pals. Lando Calrissian, uh, very great action figure, and again, looks great with the cape on display. Probably want to take it off for play, okay? Talk to you again real soon. May the Force be with you.